Unit 2, Lesson 7, The Cranial and Facial Bones. Welcome to the skull. This is generally considered one of the more difficult areas to learn. I have a suggestion for you as you go through the rest of this unit and subsequent units. The more of your senses, hearing, touch, sight, that you can use, the easier it can be to learn something. So as you are looking at illustrations or going over word lists, say words out loud and touch the body part. For instance, as you are going over the bones of the skull, look at the picture, say the word, touch the bone. The frontal bone is the bone of your forehead. Say frontal bone out loud, place your hand on your forehead while you're looking at the illustration. The parietal bone is the side or wall of the skull. Place your hand on the side of your head while you're looking at the picture and say parietal bone out loud. It may seem silly at first, but you might just find that it is really helpful. Okay, on with the lesson. Looking at the illustration, the skull consists of two separate parts, the cranium, or brain case, and the facial bones. The cranium consists of the bones that actually touch the brain. As I just said, the frontal bone is the big bone of your forehead. Behind that are the two parietal bones. Then, at the base of the skull, is the occipital bone. The spinal cord passes through a large hole in the occipital bone called the foramen magnum. A foramen is a hole in a bone which allows blood and nerve supply to pass through. All bones have foramina, but the foramen magnum is the largest. <clears throat> Moving forward again, we have the two temporal bones, which are above and behind the ears, and then the sphenoid bone, a bat-shaped bone that goes all the way through the skull from in front of the ears to the back of the eye socket. Finally, we have the ethmoid bone, a small bone that separates the cranial cavity from the nasal cavity. It also forms a small part of the posterior medial eye socket. So there are the eight bones of the skull. Now, on to the face. There are 14 bones of the face. Most of them are in pairs. You may want to use a mnemonic device or memory aid to help you with the bones of the face. The sillier, or sometimes racier they are, the easier they are to remember. A previous class came up with the saying, never make lazy zoo monkeys play in vomit. Those are the first letters of nasal, maxilla, lacrimal, zygoma, mandible, palatine, inferior conche, and vomer. So, let's slow that down a little bit. The two nasal bones are located at the top of the nose. The maxilla hold your upper teeth and move up beside the nasal bones. The lacrimal bones are located at the back of your eye socket. Lacrimo is the word root for tear. The arches of the zygoma are your cheekbones. Your mandible is your lower jawbone. The two palatine bones form the bony roof of your mouth. The inferior conche are dividers in the nasal cavities, and the vomer forms a part of the nasal septum. The other bones we'll include in this section are the three auditory ossicles per ear, the malleus, incus, and stapes, or hammer, anvil, and stirrup, and the hyoid bone, which we talked about last lesson. So, that's 8 for the cranium, 14 for the face, the 6 auditory ossicles, and the hyoid, for a total of 29 bones, if you're keeping count. Okay, now check out the resources and do the exercises. Then we'll finish off the axial skeleton by looking at the spine and thorax.